Hello gentlemen. Are you new to wet shaving? Have you perhaps been using some Parasso or maybe some Art of Shaving products and you want to make the jump to a shave soap but you just don't know how? I mean, we all watch YouTube videos on people doing uh, their shave soaps but I mean, they're not really showing you how they're doing it, what they're using. They kind of do, but you're talking about expensive stuff. Um, not many people are using, uh, you know, cheaper badgers or uh, synthetics have are being used. But let's just say you just got a soap. You've never used a soap before. Let's just say you just got a two-band badger, 24 millimeter. And you've never used a badger brush before. And let's just say you wish somebody had a video on how to do that. Well, today's your lucky day, boys. Because I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And um, today is going to be a part one of what I want to do, a two-part series of um, when you get your first shave soap. And how to build that lather. And what to do with this hard puck. How, are you, you know, you had too much water, you had a little bit of water, I don't know. I don't know. Let's figure it out together, guys. So we're going to go ahead and continue with this shave um, today. And um, I'll let you guys know what I'm using. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and continue from there. All right, guys. So you just got your first badger brush, right? Uh, it may look strikingly similar to this badger brush. This is a Yaki 24 millimeter two band badger um, not densely packed like the new ones nowadays but it's it's regular this is a this is what uh, most people were using before they started this high density knot business and um, really giving you high high quality knots this is a quality knot um, coming out of China this is what uh, you can pick this up uh, for cheap this right here probably 20 bucks. Um, I'm sure I believe they sell it on westcoastshaving.com So shout out to westcoastshaving.com for offering um, They'll offer you hundred dollar badger brushes uh, badger brushes uh, 150 dollars, you know uh, all the way down to something like this. That's less than 20 bucks sometimes around that 20 buck mark for us shavers who are looking for value in our products and um, bang for our buck. So um, when you have a badger brush, uh, a little different than having a synthetic brush. Uh, badger brushes, they uh, absorb the uh, water a lot better than a synthetic brush. Uh, they, uh, the way they absorb is because, you know, just like your hair, when you do your hair, it absorbs the products that you put in it. And this is very similar. So what most people do, and um, what I do, and just like most people, we take a mug. This is just a regular mug. Um, pretty much everybody has at least one extra mug lying around. And if you don't, you can just get one from basically anywhere for the cheapest of prices, right? So um, I'm going to go ahead today and use this mug, um, which is a very cheaply made uh, Star Wars mug. <laughs> so we're just going to use this. So what you would do is turn on your hot water, right? And you wait for that water to get nice and warm. Some people will tell you not to use super hot water because you'll lose these hairs. Uh, that you'll loosen up the the glue that's holding this knot in. Um, I, I think that's ridiculous. Uh, all you have to do is just slightly soak this brush, maybe just about to the black band, you, just the tip of the brush. You don't have to soak the whole thing. So when you soak the whole thing, that's what's loosening up that glue. But by just soaking the bristles, the tips of them, you should be fine. So first thing first, that's that's exactly what you wanna do. Uh, say you're about to take your shower, right? Just go ahead and fill your mug with a little bit of water and uh, a little more than that. <laughs> and then just Set your brush in there. There you go. Now, you sit that there. 
And what I do, because today I'm going to be showing you a face lather, is uh, you can either not fill up the sink with water or you can fill the sink with water. Um, what I do is I fill the sink with water. And um, the reason I do that is just because I feel like it's a little less wasteful. Uh, when you got running water, you're constantly, you know, I get it, you're cutting it on, cutting it off. But I feel like it's just a lot less wasteful to just go ahead and fill up your sink with some hot water and um, you know you can just take your razor and rinse it off in there so for this demonstration guys um, I was very lucky to win a raffle of a very very nice razor so I'm gonna use it but you can use any double end razor let's say you just got yourself a yaki razor right for instance this is an R89 but it's got a lot of the same build um, geometry as a Yaki razor which is also on sale at West Coast Shaving and, and it's an awesome value right so um, yeah man we're talking about value and um, this isn't what I'm gonna be using today I'm actually gonna be using what I won in a raffle and I'm extremely grateful to to have won this because would I have shelled the money out for this? Probably not. So um, actually I can tell you definitely not. My wife would kill me. Um, today I'm going to be shaving with this carbon. Now I won this in a raffle and I've only shaved once with it so far. But this is a carbon razor. Um, right now looking up at the website, these are this razor is about $249.99 US. So right <laughs> but you can use any razor I mean a lot of the razors I had before I won this razor they're cheap you know I uh, West Coast Shaving has awesome razors right now um, that they had designed by charcoal goods and they're fantastic all right so let's go ahead and move on now from the razor and let's talk about a soap okay so this is what you're gonna get when you get your first soap you're gonna open it up and it's pretty solid in there right this one's obviously I've been I've used it but you'll get it it'll be solid or it'll look like it just got poured in there and you'll think what the heck's going on with that well it's a solid it's it's basically you know all the water has been taken out of this soap to preserve it for you right so you have a beautiful product once you hydrate this soap get it on your face so it can do its job now, uh, the first thing you want to think about when you're buying a soap is your allergies, right? So, um, if you are allergic to coconut or, you know, you just have any kind of allergies that go on your face, that's the first, the absolute first thing. Now, I recently had my cousin who I was trying to, you know, hook him up with, get him start wet shaving, and this man's allergic to coconut, so... Shout out to Anthony for um, for getting the getting some soap from me, right? Because <laughs> I couldn't give him any creams. Prorasso has coconut oil. Art of Shaving has coconut oil. Uh, a ton of these soaps have coconut oil. This soap that I'm going to use today, it's got coconut oil, right? So let me see. Actually, it doesn't. But you can't have this one. <laughs> but you can't have this one so this is actually coconut oil free but it is Highland Spring Soap Company's um, tallow base so uh, from what I just found out this is their first tallow base and uh, the scent is done by Australian Private Reserve okay so the, the scent on this is fantastic guys this is a dark scent it's raining here in California today uh, I had to choose something nice and dark and this all this meanwhile my brush is soaking okay it's soaking right here it's absorbing that water up the bristles up into the middle of the knot let's just say I'm in the shower okay now I got my razor here you kind of get your stuff all out here right we already know that part we're just upgrading to soaps so um, ah, it's beautiful and before I move on I want to go ahead and discuss not discuss but quickly go over the sense on this eclipse because blew my mind that this this soap is still available on West Coast shaving right and this is eclipse like I said Highland Spring soaps company um, and this scent 
straight off the website now. Um, says right here, the long list of notes come together beautifully to create a truly one-of-a-kind experience. Russian leather and dark musk are prominently are prominent initially, followed by blonde tobacco, dried fig, and bourbon, then rounding out with a floral note of carnation, geranium, and lavender. Okay, so when you read the actual notes, this is what it says. The top notes, we got bergamot, dried fig, carnation, mimosa, cedarwood, and um, carnation again. So, two carnations. Well, what incarnation's going on over there, right? <laughs> Heart notes of this are cocoa, white rum, blonde tobacco, Russian leather, um, narcissus. I don't know what that is. Well, pink pepper, bourbon, geranium, and lavender. Now, the base notes of this are benzoin, sandalwood, civet, oud, amorous, citrus, and black musk. This is a musky, leathery, fantastic scent that is complex and beautiful. And guys, I can't believe this is actually still available. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is we're going to go step by step on how we build this lather, right? So... Um, Let's let's go ahead and shave every day. So here we go, guys. So now we got a soaked brush, right? You got to kind of. I what I do is I just squeeze out the bottom, get the get it to where there's the the tips are still wet. You can see how wet that is. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the soap and we're gonna load it straight from the container. Circular motion, right? You don't have to put a ton of pressure on this soap. Um, just swirl it, swirl it, and you can see already it's making a making a little soap but you want that soap to kind of not have so many bubbles and that's why you squeeze out that excess water so just kind of go around and some people do 45 second loads some people do 30 second loads some people count how many circles they do 50 circles whatever you know I kind of just go until I feel happy with it till I got a nice little pasty amount on the tips of the brush and it looks like it's about halfway down there so that looks good, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep going cause until my heart's content. So what I would say, a good 30 to 45 second load is, it will suffice. It's fantastic. So here we go. I'm just, I'm pretty much going to be done right there. All right. And I kind of try to get as much little stuff in the corners because I like to rinse that off. So my soap looks beautiful when I'm done with it <laughs> and it looks like brand new. doesn't really make sense to do all that, but... But I do it anyway. Fantastic. So now, guys, we're going to start building the lather. Because this is, uh, doesn't look like the Barbasol stuff you've been using before. Or even like the cream that's dang near made already. This looks really, obviously, not, not producing any, any lather yet. So let's go ahead and get it on. What I do is I brush it on to the spots that I know I'm going to shave. It might feel really thin, not hydrated. It's just kind of going on. Doesn't feel like anything you would want to shave with. So now what we're going to do, and this is what I do. Some people take the water, wet their hands, and they just get little drops. And they add the water extremely slowly like this, right? A little bit of drop, and they start. What you do is you just take that brush. Don't smash it onto your face, but just let the tips of the brush do it. They kind of just, let them work their magic. Circular motions, back and forth scrubbing motions, painting motions, all of that stuff works. So what I like to do is I'll paint, I do a little scrubbing, I do a little, a little bit uh, of circles. Whatever to build, start building this lather up. Because now see, I've added some water, but it's still very pasty. So I'm just going to go ahead. This is what I do now. Some people add the water that way. I like to dip the very tips of the brush, not adding too much, but just dipping the tip of the brush in some water. Flick it off. And then we get what I feel like is a little more water, but I feel like it builds quicker and um, it's really nice. So just dip the tips, flick it off. Here we go. Now we're getting something. Now you're starting to build that lather. 
And I'll let you know when I stop building my lather, it'll start to foam up, obviously, you know. Right now, it's too pasty. And the reason you don't want to do it when it's too pasty is because it's just not going to be easy to glide the razor over your skin when it's so pasty like this. Um, some people prefer that, to have a very pasty um, soap, but I I'm not one of them. I like to have um, somewhere in the middle, you know? And I'll tell you when I stop, and I'm just adding water here. Brush, brushing it in. Get to the other side. You'll start to see the, the lather get a little sheen to it. So what that means is the light's going to kind of reflect off of it. It's going to look like a like a brand new pearl. Like a pearl finish on a car. Just beautiful. Um, you'll see the light just dancing off of it. And that, that will be when you know it's getting close. Now right here, some people might think that this is it. This looks pretty good, right? You could shave with this. But but I don't ever stop here because I feel like to test it, what I do is I will roll a little mountain on here and just touch it and see how does that soap react to you touching it. And right here, this soap is kind of just sticking straight up. It just doesn't seem like it's enough hydration for me. So I keep going until that little peak kind of tips over. And I'll show you what I mean when I get there. But right here, you're exfoliating your skin. You're creating more lather for the next pass um, to go into the brush. And it's starting to feel easier to move the brush over your skin. Right? So you start to feel it. Oh, yeah, it's starting to get like milky. Starting to thicken up or, or to thin out. But it feels really nice, the, the brush just gliding across the skin. Keep on adding. Go ahead, get those little circular motions, those scrubby motions back and forth. I find doing this is good because my hair grows from my chin to my ear. So by going forward and backwards, it aggravates it. Um, it... Um, it activates the, the actual um, soap with, with also the scrubbing motion of the brush on your skin. And it feels good. It, it opens up your pores, that hot water, the scrubbing motion. You're really cleaning. You're really cleaning your face here. And, um, you know, acne has nowhere really to go here. I mean, you'll once in a while get something, but... You're going to have an extremely clean face. So this one is taking a little while to build. I'm, I'm quite surprised actually. But you can see that when I take this access, I kind of swirl it around my face and um, check. Because now you don't really need to have that whole Santa Claus beard. But the, the shine's going to start coming out here. Let me move this down a little bit. And... You're going to start to see that, there you go. See that? That's beautiful. So that, that to me says, hey, I'm hydrated enough to foam up a good amount to give you good cushion, but also I have enough water that when the, when the peak comes out, the water weighs it down enough to pull the top of that thing down. So we're pretty good here. So what I'm going to do is level it out. Kind of get it cleaned up, smoothed out, and then I'm just going to do one more little tip of water and do a little la layer of water to make sure it doesn't dry out while, while I'm shaving. You'll see it start to crack and dry out a little bit. So this right here is a great lather for me, guys, and you'll have that extra that extra lather right here. Don't worry about it. Just sit it on your sink right here just like that. It's waiting for you there. Now go ahead and take your razor. And what I like to do is just put a little hot water on it. Some people soak the razor too to kind of 
get the raise the blade hot, but I don't. I just go ahead and do that. That works great for me. So first pass, we're going to go down, right? You can see how smooth the razor, the razor just gliding over. I'm really not putting any weight down on this razor. This is a fantastic razor. You know, all razors have their attributes that, and, and that's how I'm cleaning it is I just dip it in the sink and I swish it back and forth. Being careful not to hit this on the sink because um, you don't want to mess up your razor. And now I have a I know it seems like I'm taking a super long time, guys, but I, when I'm explaining it, it just takes longer. There's a challenge going out right now to prove that you can get this stuff done in less than 10 minutes, and I believe it's very possible. Challenge laid out by a virtual groom room. Very doable challenge, man. And that's just when you first get started, you don't you don't really understand what it is the allure, right? Maybe somebody's giving you stuff, and you know you don't really get it yet. You know it hasn't. And for me, it took a long time. Also, like I use the Art of Shaving products with a double end, um, a double end razor for about a year before I started getting into soaps. And I looked up YouTube videos and, you know, you, you can look all over and you'll figure it out eventually. A lot of uh, trial and error stuff. But I just wanna give something for my for my boys, for, my, for the guys that I'm hooking up, um, that I'm getting them into wet shaving, to hear it from me, how I do it. And it's kinda like things that you wish you would've known when you got into it, I, I wish somebody would have gotten me into it and guided me, you know. Um, no one did that. I'm like the little, I'm the little test dummy over here, figuring it out. So you got your uh, stuff here, still waiting for you. Sorry, that off. Uh, leave your face somewhat wet, and you go back at it, guys. So we're going to go, now we shave down, we're going to shave up again. So I... I mean, we all know how, how we're shaving, but you'll start to see that this soap, it's fantastic. Um, it's slick. It's cushiony. Uh, the hair just, fall, I mean, it just comes right off. And you're, you're, you know, then you can move on. Now that you know how you want your soap to look and how, how you want it to feel, you can move on to how you want your razor to be in. Um, you can get your shave bowls and stuff like that. So you can start doing your bowl uh, lathers. But this is like when you first get your soaps, you're, you're probably not bowl lathering because creams are, are there. I mean, you put them on and especially with a synthetic brush, they go on really well. So here you go. So now the water on my face didn't really um, bring this soap out, so let's, I'm just gonna go ahead, same thing, dip it in there. I like to be a little less wasteful here. I got a nice little rough patch down here too, guys, so when I do circular motions here, it really helps. So you can see it's thickening up now. It's not so, so just a little light watery um, soap. Sometimes you feel like you didn't put enough soap, but really you just haven't put enough water and you haven't agitated it enough. So there you go. Now we got a nice, oh yeah, and you'll feel, you'll, you will feel the brush sliding across your face 
a lot slicker. You'll just you'll just feel that that little protection, that little layer of you know. Maybe you felt the the bristles a little bit on that first pass, and now on this pass, or um, just when you're thickening up your soap, you don't feel that because it's not there <laughs> because the soap is doing its job. So here you go. You don't have to make it all crazy Santa Claus because I found out that you'll lose the slickness of the soap if you go too far. So right here is good. I also like to um, kind of build it to where it's not a see-through thin, too thin of a layer. Um, and this is all personal preference. So don't just listen to how I build it and that's the way it should be. Um, you'll find what works for you. I'm just letting you know why I do it, why I build it up a little bit. And there you go. It seems like it takes a long time to build, guys, but once you get into it and you start building them, you'll find that it's easier and easier because you know exactly where to put that, that particular soap to exactly how you like it. And maybe you don't like the soap to be built that, that much. But I'll urge you guys, if you are shaving before work and you feel like it's just too early um, to shave, I would implore you to just wake up a little bit earlier, guys. And I'm telling you because give yourself the time to enjoy it. A lot of this hobby is just having that time to enjoy something that maybe you didn't enjoy before. Um, this is going to uh, just, what it really does is it helps, it makes your life experience just that much more better. Uh, I know much more better is not really a correct terminology. But it just makes you look forward to something like, you know, if you looked forward to taking out the trash every day, you know, you would enjoy taking it out, <laughs> you know. It doesn't have to be a chore, guys. For a lot of us, we look forward to this every day. And um, it, it's more sustainable. It's better for the environment. It's nicer for you. And how this ever got lost in time, I just, I'll never really know. And um, I'm glad that I found it. And hopefully all you guys are too. Once, you know, for the people that I've helped to find the hobby, maybe, maybe you don't even like it, you know, but I don't see how you couldn't. So we got that. That shave, that second pass done. You can be done here, or you can do the one more pass like I'm about to do. Now I'm gonna quickly do it, because I feel like this video is going really long. So, quickly I just get my trouble spots here against the grain, and, and you don't need as much protection here, because you're basically done. So, what I like to do is just a little bit of agitation here, you can take the base of the brush and squeeze all that lather out. Look at that. Look at all that lather. You can just put that on with your hands. And there you go. I like to just, just in case I need a little extra lather. All right. Now I'll just rinse off the razor one more time. Mine grows this way. Again, this is against the grain here. Over here breathing like Darth Vader. Just a beautiful shaver, this carbon. Um, now that I own it, I'm just getting to know it, you know? So uh, I do have a Voshod loaded in this.
And I, I do uh, BBSs every shape. And you don't have to. Some people don't do it. They don't chase that dragon because their skin just can't handle it. Or maybe the razor that they're using. Um, they haven't found the right one. Or maybe they just feel it more comfortable to not do it. It's all going to be personal preference at the end of the day. But just to show you, because you just got a soap, you're pumped up, you don't really know how to use it, but now you do. Because that's all it took, right there. So now, what I like to do is drain my sink. I will drain my sink, and using the cold running water, I kind of rinse, get, get around that, uh, that kind of hair that's clinging to the sides. All right, so I splash it off of there. Now, go ahead and rinse your brush out. Rinse that off real nice. Squeeze the water out. Flick the water out a little bit. And then brush it up against your little towel. You know? Now with badger brushes, it's pretty important that you hang them upside down. Because the moisture is automatically pulled into the center of this brush. But gravity will help to pull that moisture out of the brush when you hang it upside down backwards. This isn't like synthetic where you can just leave it on your sink. Um, so there's ways to, there's little stands that they have or there's um, little stuff you can buy. So right there was a cold, I go ahead and rinse off all the soap with cold water because that helps to close the pores up, right? So that's just aftershave uh, etiquette, I guess. And then I just, I rinse my soap off. I rinse the, the moisturized part of my soap off because it, it's easier um, for the soap to dry. And I, I really want that soap dry so that the next time, so that, I, you know, it doesn't have moisture in it, which could ruin the soap. It, it, it won't be what it was intended to be. So... You know, usually I take this apart and I have a little toothbrush, so I'm just going to hang that here right now because I feel like this video is already kind of long. Alright. So, I've rinsed off my soap, and what I'll do is I'll let this dry with the lid off. It doesn't have to be on the sink, you could put it in the closet or something like that. Just let it dry for like, uh, 24 hours, let's say. Um, and next time you go to grab your soap, it'll be nice and dry. You know, if you're a daily shaver like I am, um, it will be nice and dry and ready for you. You know, just dump out your mug, bam, put it underneath your sink, or you could just leave it right there up on your sink, put it back where you got it in the kitchen. And now, um, you know, I, I use this time uh, to wipe my sink down, because my wife will, for those of us who are married, <laughs> um, our wife doesn't like messes all over our sinks. So, we try to keep it tidy, you know? So, tidy that up. Get my towel up here. All right, so now let's go ahead and add our splash. Um, I also have a bomb that I'm gonna add. Now, I am part of a, a Facebook group, the RMG. Okay, they know who they are. And um, this is dessert week, so by that meaning you had your steak and potatoes with the soap and your razor you know whatever you use the combination of your uh, of your actual uh, shave and this is your dessert and this is what you put on afterwards it's the cherry on top right it's the cherry on top so um, today I'm using the matching splash here of Eclipse Highland Spring soaps and I'm kinda kicking myself in the butt because I didn't know that they were you know, it was a chemist who's doing all this, and she's really uh, adamant about her um, about her her bombs, right? And but I also have another person, another lady that's adamant about her bombs, and they're fantastic, and I know they are. And that's going to be my cherry on top. So my dessert right here, first of all, is going to be my ice cream. This is going to be my Eclipse, and just a few drops. Splash this on. Right. Oh, man. Scent on this so leathery. I feel like amber, dark, musky, beautiful for the rain, for a snuggle, 
by the fire, you know. I don't know what the heck was. And this is like white. It's got it's got some really nice uh, moisturizing ingredients in there. And now I will do my cherry on top. My just do desserts, and that's gonna be Zingari Man. Zingari Man unscented bomb, aftershave bomb, and this stuff leaves your face so moist, so nice. Um, I mean, it seals in that little bit of scent that you got, and once it it calms down and dries down, your skin so moisturized and nice you can feel five years younger with this stuff it's fantastic guys if you haven't tried it she now offers it in a sago base which i haven't tried but the actual normal base that she has here that i guess it's vegan i would imagine it is because the, the other one is going to be some kind of tallow involved in it mm. all right guys that's it that's the video so for my boys watching it, um, that's how you do it. You know what I mean? You're going to soak your brush. You're going to swirl it right on the puck. You're going to build that lather on your face until it's to your liking. And um, then just go ahead and handle your shave. Give yourself a good 30 minutes to when you're starting this. You know, you want, you want, you want to take your time with this. Enjoy it. You can do it quicker. Uh, the experience won't be as good, but... Um, I'm telling you that just, just enjoy your shave, man. Enjoy your shave. When you enjoy your shave, you enjoy the rest of your day. Like, you know, like another YouTuber says, have a great shave, have a great day. And that's probably something, that's Geo Fat Boys. That's not mine. He can have it. Uh, I have no cop, you know, if he copyrighted that, I'm sorry. Uh, I might have to cut that out later. But he's exactly right. You have a great shave, better, and you go on about your day. And you get those little scents that only, you know, they're not booming out like a like a perfume would, but they are there for you, right, right here in your face. So should anybody get so close to your face, or just you getting those whiffs throughout the day from a good product, and having that moisturized face, and just everything starts to look better. And like I used to have a lot of blackheads, I have nothing, I have nothing, guys. And my wife even. Uh, comments about it so you know if you got your wife just do her a favor do yourself a favor man give yourself a break from life and enjoy something for a little bit that's my time guys thanks for hanging out with me um want to give a shout out to rmg melly mel and nate dog uh give a shout out to lather hogs for um having such a great eye lather video and inspiring me to do my highland spring soap company um soap today I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but after I saw that, I was like, man, I got I to gotta give this another go. And, and, you know, I own it. It's here. It's not going anywhere. But um, I just wanted to give it another go. And, man, it's beautiful. Fantastic soap. So have a good one, guys. That's me. That's it. I'm done. I'm done.